Check out that nice new backpack. Wow. Pretty styling there, bud. We are out. We found a spot. We came from up there. Up there doesn't look very far, but it is amazing in all this terrain. You see how steep that is from all the fallen trees. That gives you a pretty good idea. Fortunate to have found a flat spot and a clearing. So this is where we're going to play. We are by Actually, it's a little more than a creek. This portion of it is creek. Beyond there is a river. And like I said, we are finally out. It's been a long time coming. We are ready to play with some new equipment. We'll show it all to you here. There it is. The new big sibling stove from Seek Outside. It's titanium. And I've got it matched up to the uh, Golight Shangri-La 3. And there's the stove jack that uh, I made. And you saw a video of that. Give you another whole look at the setup. This is really a great setup with this uh, Golight Shangri-La 3 and the Seek Outside sibling titanium wood stove. Plenty of room in here. I'm really impressed. Reason why I uh, decided to uh, check out another tent was the smaller footprint. This one has quite a bit of room for uh, such a small footprint and the impressive thing about this uh, tent is that it has this inside bug net and bathtub floor and as you can see I've got it halfway across the inside of the tent here which gives me a lot of room for uh, sleeping and storage but then this complete other half I have the uh, wood stove there. Plenty of space away from the stovepipe. And this is one of the reasons why I prefer to uh, send the stovepipe out the sidewall. Just gives me a lot more space. I kind of tuck it off to uh, one wall of the tent instead of uh, having it out here in the middle 
and then running the stovepipe up through the peak of a teepee tent. Again, this is just my preference, just to give me extra room closer to mounting it uh, along the wall there. Here's, here's the entrance, the door. And the door does not get in the way of the tent, so when I open the, uh, the door, it's completely away from the stovepipe. In fact, the door is way over here. My entry and exit is on this other side here. So I can come in and out of the tent with the stove being on the other side away from the uh, door opening. Cooper is so patient with this stuff. <laughs> so there's the door opening. In fact the door is uh, rolled up and there's the little buckles that uh, keep the door open. There's how much space I have from the one edge of the door to where the wood stove is and where the stove pipe is. And it allows me to guy out this panel really taunt so it's not flapping around anywhere close to the stovepipe. That's right, that's the stovepipe. Thank you, Cooper. Oh, he's on a scent. Today was a great test run. I hate to do this again, but uh, I am not going to uh, light this up. I have, I have tested it. I will uh, show you some video of uh, a test burn. We're not planning to uh, do an overnight tonight, but uh, I wanted to make sure and uh, get this set up. Kind of a shakedown just to see how everything fit. You kind of think about this th stuff and uh, you have a theory, you buy the uh, parts, get it all put together. And I think it all turned out. thrilled about the big sibling seek outside titanium wood stove. In my test burns it's worked out really great and I want to thank 
the folks at Seek Outside for a great product. Thank you again. As I'm taking the stove apart, I wanted to uh, just show you quickly how this whole thing uh, kind of comes together. I came up with that uh, steel plate bottom and then also the uh, aluminum panel base plate. If you can see, there's uh, little rings down here at the bottom of the big sibling. And those are to secure the bottom to the ground. And what I did was come up with some uh, just regular tent stakes, aluminum tent stakes. And those, again, secure the uh, bottom of the stove to the ground. Let's do the back one here. And the whole thing just pops off like that. This section and the spark arrester and damper came with my other uh, Seek Outside wood stove. And those fit on the big sibling as well. So here's this uh, plate. This, by the way, is from a takedown uh, baking pan. You know, the ones that has the ring and the clamp? Uh, I just used the bottom. And it uh, fit perfectly for the bottom of the... Uh, seek outside still so it's just like that there's the base plate that I made the aluminum base plate with uh, three holes there drilled for the uh, tent stakes and this just pops off and rolls up into a nice roll and it fits in that uh, carrying bag. Well, time to say goodbye. Everything from the uh, campsite's all packed up. Cooper's ready to go, all of it, in the Z75 by Gregory. And of course, a new piece of gear some bug spray. <laughs> Did I say bug spray? Uh, I meant bear spray. Ready to go, Cooper?